In this video, we're going to learn how to program the robot to move forward. Our learning goal is that the student will be able to write a program to control a robot using loops, conditionals and subroutines where appropriate. Today, it's not appropriate. Okay, so we open our LEGO Mindstorms EV3 platform. And we're going to learn about the blocks that we can program with. We see here a number of colored tabs. The green tabs are the action blocks. Orange tabs show flow control. Yellow tabs show sensors. Red tabs are data operations. Blue tabs are advanced stuff. And we have my blocks. But today we are only concerned with the action blocks. This action block controls your medium motor, this one the large motor, and today we are going to learn about the move steering block. We are going to use the move steering block to move forward because using this block controls both the motors, so you are more likely to move nice and straight. So we click on that and move the move steering block onto the mat and attach it to our start button. Now that we have put the move steering block into the program, we can change the parameters. A parameter is a value that is passed to the computer to tell it what you want to be done. For example, you can tell the robot how fast you want it to go. That's our speed. It's going at 50. The speed is basically a percentage, stop is zero, and the fastest you can possibly go is 100. So right now we're going at half speed. We can also tell the robot if we want to move forward or backwards. And we do that by putting it in a negative number. It's a little difficult to control it on the slider. So if you want, you can click there and type in a number. There we go. So now we are going backwards at a speed of 50, at half speed. Let's go forwards. Your motor will be plugged into a port. This shows the ports that your two motors are plugged into. Remember, the move steering block controls two motors. Now traditionally we move, we put, we plug the two wheel motors into ports B and C, but if for some reason you want to change that or you have to change that, you can change them. But we're going to leave them at B and C. We're going to stick with tradition for a moment. Okay, so that is the port selector. This is your mode selector. That measures that changes the way your robot measures how far it should go. So you can set the robot to measure in time, how many seconds it'll be on. You can set the robot to measure in degrees, how many degrees the wheel will turn. And you can set it to measure in rotations. You can also set it to off, to stop the action, or to on when you are waiting for input. We're not going to worry about that now. Let's look at these more closely. Let's look at the steering. Now this is an interesting block because as you drag the slider bar, it does interesting things to your robot. You move straight or you can turn. Now, I'm not going to talk about that much now because for a number of reasons, I don't want you to use that to turn until later in the course. So for the moment, in the move steering block, we're just going to move forward or backward. You can change the power, type in the number or use the slider bar. 100 means as fast as possible forward. Negative 100 means as fast as possible backwards. And 0, oh, I put in 500, that won't work. And zero means no power, effectively a stop. Let's put it back at 50. 
Okay. Rotations, degrees, and seconds specify how far the wheels of the robot will travel. If you set it for rotations, you get this little rotation symbol, and you can put the number of rotations in there. So if I set that to two rotations, the robot's wheels will turn two rotations. If I set it at seconds, in which case you get a little clock there, and I type in there 4.5, the robot will travel forward for four and a half seconds. If I set it for degrees, it will travel 360 degrees or 200 degrees or whatever you care to put in. Notice the circle changes with the number of degrees you put in. This is your last input. It is a break. After the robot has completed its movement, the robot can either immediately apply the brakes to the motors, true, the check mark, or you can let the motors coast to a stop, false. Okay, so if it's true, it's going to stop more or less on the spot. And if you're going to coast, if it's false, it will just roll gently to a halt. So for the moment, for your first assignment, you need it on for rotations. And you're going to make it drive forward for two rotations. <clears throat> Once you are finished programming your robot, you're going to need to plug your robot into the computer via the USB cable. Once that is done, this will no longer be grayed out. This will show as black and you are going to click that download button to send your program to the robot. The robot will beep once it's downloaded and then you can take it to the floor or the table and run it and see what happens. Good luck.